Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Congratulations to President Armenia Abrahamian on Ramadan. Presidential press conference. In memory of the Armenian volunteers of the Liberation Army who fell in the field of honor, the relics of the Asola hero Gurgen Yanikian were reburied in the Yarabulur military pantheon. Erdogan commented on Trump's deal of the century. President of Western Armenia, Armenia Abrahamian, congratulates Muslim sons of Western Armenia and the world on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, the month of love and peace. This year, the month of Ramadan started from May 6, which coincides with the day of commemoration of the Syrian martyrs in Western Armenia. Tribute to all those who gave their pure souls for the sake of the protection of their homeland, their families, and their people. All these heroes of the nation, the citizens, and the sons of Western Armenia can consider Consider the sacred day as the beginning of the holy month as a sign of goodwill for the entire Middle East. Invitation to all news publications in Armenia. On May 11 of 2019 at 11.30 a.m. through video bridge, President of Western Armenia, Armenia Abrahamian, will touch upon the following topics. The 19th anniversary of the legal and final international recognition of the Armenian state on May 11 of 1920. Present legal and political activities of the state structure of the Republic of Western Armenia. Official confirmation of the Turkish state of the genocide committed against the Armenian people. After his speech, President Armenia Abrahamian will hold a press conference. The press conference will take place in the Yerevan office of the Republic of Western Armenia. We kindly invite you to be present at the press conference at the center of Western Armenia in Yerevan. Invitation in memory of the Armenian volunteers of the Liberation Army who fell in the field of honor. President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Abrahamian, Colonel Gilbert Levon Minesian, and the President of the Association of French Veterans and Partisans of Armenian Origin, Simon Azilazian, will be present in the ceremony. The ceremony will take place under the auspices of the Armenian Apostolic Church of Marseille. The Union of Artsakh Liberation Fighters, the Assembly of Armenians, from Western Armenia and the Association of French Veterans and Partisans of Armenian Origin invite you to be present. The ceremony will take place on 12 May of 2019 at 10.30 a.m. in the Armenian Apostolic Church of Marseille. At 10.30 a.m. there will be a requiem on 27th anniversary of Shushi Liberation in honor of Artsakh warriors. At 12 p.m. will take place Red Lane Ceremony before Khachkar. At 12.15 p.m. is scheduled our software veteran speeches. You can confirm your participation by May 11 via our official email address. On 5th May of 2019, the official delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia took part in the burial ceremony of sacred relics of the spiritual father of the liberation struggle of Western Armenia, Gurgen Yanikian, at Yarabulur Military Pantheon. The delegation consisted of a number of ministers headed by Prime Minister Garnik Sarkisian, accompanied by the brotherly emotions of President Armenak Abrahamian. As Prime Minister Sarkisian emphasized during the press conference, Gurgen Yanikian from Garin is a symbol of all Armenians of Western Armenia. With his voluntary decision, he once again reminded the world that the violation of the rights of Armenian nation, and especially of Western Armenia, and the patience of Armenians towards denialism are not infinite. This is the message of Gurgen Yanikian's heroism, about which Prime Minister Sarkisian talked about towards thousands of people gathered in Yarabulu. Dying for the nation is not only self-sacrifice, a person dies for the ongoing and continuing liberation struggle. If all these Armenian sons gathered here today are sincere in their feelings, each of them must be part of the liberation struggle launched by Gurgen Yanikian. Prime Minister Garnik Sarkisian pronounced these words with anger and anxiety because none of the speakers mentioned Western Armenia, for which was the heroic step of Gurgen Yanikian. Everyone praised the human qualities of the hero and forgot his main mission to liberate Western Armenia. Today in the Armenian political field, only the state structures of Western Armenia practically continue the struggle for the complete liberation of Western Armenia. 
President of Turkey Erdogan has promised that he will not allow the implementation of U.S. project to establish peace in the Middle East, known as the Deal of the Century, which aims to divide the region. Deal of the Century is a project aimed at destabilizing the Middle East. It is a new term for division, fragmentation and assimilation, and Turkey will not allow it, mentioned Erdogan in a speech delivered during the award ceremony at the Turkish Innovation Week in Constantinople. Since the publication of the Deal of the century, Trump's administration has not revealed the details of the initiative, which has provoked many rumors and speculations. According to some sources, the proposed settlement of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, which includes several Arab countries, including Saudi Arabia, does not include the creation of an independent Palestinian state with Eastern Jerusalem as a capital, as mentioned by all relevant UN resolutions. UN President Advisor and his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, stated that the Middle East East peace project on which he has worked for about two years will be announced after the end of the Ramadan in June. He also noted that it would be a good start for resolving the Israeli and Palestinian conflict. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Gait Nevagahum. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.